Here comes a car on our left. As it goes by, the ultrasonic sensors will pick them up. Right there. There's another one. For me, it would be good if the autopilot would reset the set speed that I set to the speed limit when we pass those signs instead of me having to do it. Uh, I can understand why they don't do that, but they could maybe have a setting I could turn on that would allow it to do it, which I would probably turn on a lot of the time. There's another case where we have the highway opening up into two lanes on our side. The autopilot's pretty good at uh, managing those kinds of situations. another car passing us. These ultrasonic sensors are supposed to have a range of 16 feet. Another car passing us. If I had my turn signal on to go into that lane, that this guy's in that's passing me. I would wonder whether 16 feet was really enough for it to know that there wasn't somebody coming up behind us. And they do say that you're supposed to check yourself. And yeah, that's probably the reason, because if he was coming fast enough, <coughs> and it went into the lane anyway, then 
that could cause a problem. But generally speaking, if you're going along in traffic that's more or less going the same speed and you check and you want to, you, you, as a driver, you would make that merge into the other lane, you would, you would change lanes. The autopilot seems to do it just about as well as you would. Okay, I didn't choose that exit. Here's another one of these where we lose the left lane and it disappears. And then the right lane basically just shepherds us over to the right distance to the left lane, to the left line, left indication. 